What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about a knife that you've probably never seen and you may never see again. Let's talk about this. So this is from Jason Grant, the Brass Brigade. Um, this is called the Smooth Mini Gripper. Okay. It is a one of four prototype that is not going to go into production at this point. Um, Jason Grant says it's not going to go into production because it looks very similar to the EDC EMP Nimble W. Um, EDC EMP, EMP EDC released theirs right about the time Jason was getting his prototypes back in. And being the good guy that Jason is, figured I'm not going to release a knife that is already out there. And, you know, I got to give him props for that. It does look similar to the Nimble W. Um, I think the dimensions are different and whatnot, but I understand his point. So, Ozzy Mike was able to buy this one from Jason directly. And Jason sent it to me first and included some patches. And he, I don't know if he always sends one of these, but he oftentimes sends a little utility box cutter, pry bar, seatbelt cutter, hex thing. You know, he oftentimes sends these out with his, um, with his orders, which I think is pretty cool. He doesn't need to do that, but he does. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, this is a one of four. Here it is from the man himself, a knife that will never go into production. Thanks for your support, blah, blah, blah. I say never into production yet because, ah, I'm not gonna get into all the story, but back a little while ago, I ended up with a one of four knife from a large maker and a big story about how it was just something he played around with. He made one for me, made one for a friend of mine for some, uh, you know, slights that had happened to us on an order and said he was never going to make them. Well, long story short, they sell them all the time on their website now. And my one of four, you know, serial numbered knife is kind of pointless, but we won't go there. The thing that did bother me a lot about that is he sold one to a friend of mine at Blade Show a couple of years ago off the table before he had even sent me mine and swore my friend to secrecy until I got mine. So a little shady, but we move on. All right. So this is, like I said, the smooth mini gripper. Give you some specs just real quick, just because I think it's a cool knife. I'm not into the huge worn blade thing and whatnot, but eh. Okay, so it's four and an eighth closed, seven and an eighth overall, 2.98 blade length with a 2.6 inch cutting edge, okay? I'm not sure what the blade steel is. I think that you can spidey reverse middle finger flick it, but it's not in a great spot. Really, my finger kind of lands down here. I have to re-manipulate my finger to be way up here, and then it works sometimes. Um, guess you could do it index finger, maybe, sort of, kind of, sort of, maybe, ah, uh, you know, I think it's all right. It's cool. I believe these are all made. Everything Jason Grant comes up with is made by best tech. The flipper tab works, but it's got the similar issue as the gripper and the tripper in the fact that Right here, and I don't want to harp on this, but the landing pad for your finger, as you open this, your finger kind of runs across this edge and lands in this cutout area. And I talked about that a lot on the, on the previous video of the tripper. So I won't go into all those details here, but nice design, nicely executed by Best Tech, all blacked out. I love that. Full backspacer with some jimping, some nice jimping on the blade. It's too bad that these aren't going to be produced because I think 
they would do well. I think Jason's stuff seems to sell out pretty quick and do really well. So I don't know. What do you guys think about uh, just the whole notion that he stopped the production or is not moving forward with the production? So uh, let me know your comments down below. Jason, thanks for sending this up. And Mike down in Australia, thank you very much. I believe this might be the last knife of yours I have to film. And then I can start to box them up and get them on their way down under. Thanks a lot, guys.